Greetings, esteemed viewers. I it's a have, pink bunny. Uh, I this is a cave story, and I have fashioned a um a Dragon Ball locator out of my guns, and I uh, I'm I'm gonna use it to find the um uh, the gum the gum shit <laughs> that I need to have before you know getting into that room with the boss in it. Oh uh, my god. And like no, I had to talk to him again. Like, that's what I mean when I say, like, this game has a bunch of, like, really specific cues. Because, like, if you don't talk to him again, there's no way yeah. you can actually get to the final Good boss. But, but, Brian, I wasn't actually talking about, uh, you. What? What? What, I, what were you talking about? I just learned how to draw massive boobs. <laughs> it's just <laughs> two circles, dude. Like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to, to have well. fun. I'm going to have fun tonight. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, damn it, I only know how to draw Sanix. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. You know how to draw Sanix boobs? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> you know he's going to. Or at least and then don't, he's going don't to... keep it to yourself. There's enough uh, Ariel, of that on the internet. Ariel, if I do that, it's gonna have a derped out face. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, there, there's enough of that weird-ass shit on the internet without you contributing to it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, as I, as I was saying last part, but I didn't get to fully express my disdain, this jump, fuck this jump, okay? This is what I'm talking about with the, the, the pixel-perfect jumps that uh, the dev has you perform. I mean, I do it fine here, but that's because I, I had I had like 20 times to practice it before this time. Why are there owl stat owls engraved in all these stone blocks? Because it's just what you chose. Because owls are cool. It's aesthetic. Oh, it's Misery. Oh yeah. yeah, I did like her when she showed up before, but I'm upset that she's named Misery. Yeah, there I... we go. Get over it. It's not. It's it's a very common name. <laughs> <laughs> You're not special. I am special. <laughs> like, although when her parents fucking Ooh, name- Oh yeah, they turned the lunchbox into a frog. Anyway, this is a ball frog. Yes, that is the actual name. <laughs> I mean, his name was Balrog before this, so fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it does- it, it does feel a little bit too much like Japan's bad sense of humor, but, you know. Like, I don't understand what Misery was thinking here. Like, frogs, to me, don't seem very just threatening in general. Well, uh, Brian, as you can see, frogs. he's pretty much invincible unless he opens his mouth. Well, I mean, but you made it, but she made it so you, you he can only attack by opening his mouth. Well, no, he's frog. I don't know how much control she had in making the power. Why does, why don't like, we just... Maybe that's just, just like a, a spirit spell. animal. <laughs> yeah, maybe... Maybe he had no. They had no control over what how his weak point was. You have control huh? over what your weak point is. No, if someone stabs you in the heart, you're still dead. <laughs> True I enough. Mean, it's I a very suppose. good argument. <laughs> Why don't we just I mean, walk Brian, out the door? You were, Brian, you were getting wrecked. I know, I know. It's because I, I'm obsessed with the bubbler. This is the first playthrough I've ever had it, and I really, really like it. So I want to use it. No, I meant it. in conversation with Chris. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I'm getting wrecked in more than one way, then. <laughs> Ew. But, um... Well, now that just sounds like dirty. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I paused. God damn it, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. Those uh, okay, are we're some... just gonna bury the that under a mound nice, of though. denial so deep. It'll never stay buried. <laughs> Not with Austin here. Oh, God. <laughs> what? The weapon looks very nice. Well, now uh... he ruined it because he got hit too much. Yeah, oh. that, that's one of the weapons where you can only get hit like once before it levels down. Like, uh, the developer knew that it was, it was like really fun to use, so of course he had to make it, so if you only get hit once, it's gone forever. Until you level up again, I guess, but... The way you're supposed to be using here is the fireball, I eventually changed to it because I got bored as a bubbler. Uh, uh, it's more like you got leveled down and it was no longer as useful. Well, this is kind of useful. I mean, it wasn't really helping me all that much when I was level 3, let's be real. <laughs> um, did I yep. get the... Those are some big boobs. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> did I get the I missed base? something, I think. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I must have. So yeah, you have to you have to go and then you have to make the bomb, and then you have to. Wait, take why it are to you the... making a bomb? Because Kazuma's trapped inside the building and he's a scrawny weakling, so he can't like break down the door or anything. Uh, no, the door is rusted shut, Brian. Jesus Christ, do you even read? Um, you could probably kick down a door if it's rusted. Wouldn't it corrode? <laughs> Not necessarily. Even well, so, there's a lot a of people can't k kick down a metal door. I mean, yeah, like it, no matter it's if it's metal. like rusted or not, it's still it's metal. Up. Oh my God, C Chris is standing up to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Brian, Brian, don't steal my jokes. No, <laughs> they're not that good. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. This is my point. <laughs> Oh, it's that guy that you have to abandon in order to save. Oh yeah, that comes later. There's a really, there's a really stupid uh, gameplay choice that will come. I don't know what part it is, but uh, we'll see it. We'll see it soon enough. It involves this guy, oh. but his name is Professor Booster. He is um one of how many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Do you want to know a game I fucking hate? What? Or something I hate that games do. Is when they make it significantly harder to be a, um, a good guy. Um... And like, I'm not... Like, when, like, they... Like, you, you have the choice between being a good guy and a bad guy. But they make the game much harder if you choose to be good. Yeah, but that's a commentary on life. Well, like... Well, like, I, I'm not, like... Well, there's some games that overdo it. Like, there's this one game I played on my channel that if you choose the good choices, you have to sit through hours of grinding to get to the next level. <laughs> well, you know what game actually does that really well? What? Bioshock One. Yeah. Like, there's the, you get an immediate reward if you're evil, but if you're good, you, you have to go through a bit of a tough time, but then you end up getting more of a reward. Yeah. Well, it didn't, like, didn't matter much in Bioshock, because, like, you still have fucking cool, like, magic powers. Yeah, but... But, yeah, that's the up. thing. It, it would have to depend on if there's a payoff for it being hard. Like, if they just make it harder, and then you don't get anything extra, then I don't think that's very good design. Brian, you get the good ending. Isn't that enough? Um, oh, no, you... though, because, like, the game I played was always sometimes monsters. Oh, yeah. And I was, I was like, super pumped about it. And then I played it, and I went on a rant in episode 19 <laughs> about how fucking stupid it was that it's trying to be, like, some social commentary thing that's all, like, um, good choices are hard, so we're gonna make this game super fucking hard. Well, you and see, that, like, that way is too heavy-handed. <laughs> like, there needs to be some subtlety. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, like, there's no that's point. That's basically what it was. It was, like, you can either kill this guy... Or spend hours grinding, and I'm just like, what kind of choice is that? <laughs> like, so I just ended up having this one guy get killed in front of his children. <laughs> you know, because that's you know, the. Uh... Like, it was like, <laughs> stay here and d play this stupid little mini game for like two hours. Maybe if, if you w if you keep winning the mini game for two hours, you can get to the next level, but that counts for you losing. Or just like have this guy run to a wall in a car. Yeah. And his children that's all a cry. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so like you know, at that point I was just like, okay, fuck this game. I'm gonna finish it. I don't fucking care what ending I get. And like it doesn't even matter because the only ending that the only choice that matters is if you let your friend die at the end. And I'm like, well, that's just stupid. Oh, fuck you. Maybe they saw that coming. Like they knew it would be cathartic to let someone die in front of their kids. <laughs> so they gave you that option just at the right time. <laughs> no, and he was like an asshole too. Yeah, he was like, you sabotage no, him. He was, yeah, he was a fucking asshole, that guy, anyway. He just had kids, and that's the only reason we cared about him. <laughs> he had a cup. was so fucking stupid. I I was so disappointed. There were parts yeah, there's, that were nice. there, there are some games that go about it a much more realistic way, I think, in that, <clears throat> yeah, good choices are a little harder than bad ones. I think Dishonored but, did it really good. But the yeah, I was, not, uh, Chris, the I was literally waiting for an opportunity for to say bad that. bad choices just because you made some good ones, too. Chris, Dishonored, I was literally I waiting for an opportunity to say Dishonored as well. Yeah. But, yeah, this game, I was just like, 
Well, because it, uh, it does offer you a lot of choices, because you get to, like you get to choose which like the way. Oh, there's like you, you can do like a million wanna... things in Dishonored. Yeah. Um. In Always Sometimes Monsters, you get to choose like what character you play as in a really unique way. Um. And then you get to choose like your romantic partner. Um. Which is kind of cool because they had like gay options, which was a neat inclusion for games because you usually don't see that that much. Um. Or you, at least you didn't. When this was like a year ago. Oh, uh, Mass Effect, well, if you ask if you ask the people complaining about Fallout 4, apparently that's just gross. Huh. <laughs> um. Well, anyway, like I was like, oh, this is pretty neat, and then it it offers you like stupid choices that aren't even really like where there's not really a right or wrong. There's just like there's an implied right and implied wrong. Brian, which, you're not supposed to hit them. Amigos. Speaking of speaking of right and wrong. <laughs> Should we be shooting baby Mamigas in the face? Is that the right thing to do? If no. they're trying to kill you, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, she did pull a gun on us, and she didn't even ask for any contact. Like, yeah, bitch, but I'm you don't ha you don't room. have to hit the Mamigas. I mean, seriously. Besides that, she could have told them to run inside instead of having them caught in the middle of a firefight. No, well, no, they're helping her. I don't understand how they survive this though, like, I've taken out things way tougher than those guys. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you can say yes. And uh, she's like, what a pity. And um... This is a but thou must moment where you, you can't proceed unless you say no. <laughs> You're not going to kill the Amigas, but... I don't know why they even include that option if all that happens is the screen gets dark and then everything's just w how it would be anyway. <laughs> for, th for the dark humor effect. <laughs> well, like, when it got dark, I'm like, oh my god, did I actually kill them? <laughs> I no game actually them. had really good dark humor. Yeah. Pick okay, Mario see, a thousand year door. See, right here, yeah, 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 they did. But right here, I was trying to pick that uh, dog up. And this is one of the examples of the, the really specific coding. I cannot pick up that dog unless I talk to one of the Amigas. Like, next to Curly. So I just left without it. <laughs> Thinking that I had to do something extra, like, later. Or, because we're not supposed to know that we have to collect... This is a this is basically a level where we have to collect a bunch of dogs, eventually. But I thought, okay, maybe I have to talk to the person who owns the dogs first before, you know, I can pick them up. But you no, know, you... Brian, Brian, that's what you get for thinking logically. Well... <laughs> Well, well, you've been complaining just... the entire time about thinking logically. Or, I mean, <laughs> I can use the line you kept using on me and say, why didn't you look it up? Um, be because Brian, I mean... next you're going to tell me that when someone falls off a cliff in front of you, you're actually going to save them like an idiot instead of just moving on. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> it's obvious, right? But, no, no, I actually do look it up later. Like, um, when my, when my, when my new solution doesn't work... I, I Brian, that was stupid. Yeah, yes, really what you just I, did. I thought was I could make it. I, I saw I that coming it. a mile away. So I. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't jump. I couldn't like aim diagonally or anything. So I was waiting for until it was right. You, you could have just fallen down. <laughs> what? You could have just fallen down. No, there, there are enemies that you could have fallen you, back to where you were before you went in the exact yeah. place it was going to go. No, I'm in, I'm in, Brian, I'm in, I'm in come on, step it up. How do you not get that? Literally anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I could make it, I really did! <laughs> you know, Brian, you could just get good. <laughs> get good? But, uh, yeah, if you fall down in those, uh, sand pits, there's, like, a, an alligator thing that clamps on you. It, I don't think it's insta-kill, but it's, it's close. So it's just best to avoid that at all costs. Uh... So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those sand pits kill you. I mean, there's skulls. I mean, in them. I mean well, I just, he literally just explained what's I, in yeah, them. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm busy paying attention to the game. It's okay, Wolf. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's Brian. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you see, Whatever, Wolf listens man. to me. Um, but yeah, this is um. I didn't, Cave Story is full of a lot of hallway sections. Actually, you know what? The entire game is just a bunch of Jump from games, the really. other side. Yeah. Like no, where are you going? It's not no, I, 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 up there. You can, up. you can, you can go up from the other side. He gave up a long time ago. 
Yeah, so it, I thought it would be easier to just go from the other side. I do not sound like that. You Oh, I'm Brian Mamamara, steamed viewers. Well, I mean, he's eventually gonna have to start grinding anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, this is. I would much rather. I hate that I have to collect experience. Because it disappears, and then I get sad if I if I like if I wanted it, and and then it falls into places where I can't go, like the the freaking sand pits, and it's wasted. I, I would much rather just be able to defeat an enemy and then get the experience on it. Do that? Do the alligators immediately come out? Uh, they they come out pretty fast. It's not it's not like immediate, but it would it would be really tedious to jump down there for like a second and then jump up and wait for the alligator to go away and then collect every experience triforce like that. Um, and they would pre probably disappear before I got around to them anyway, so... <laughs> I really believe they're called Force Gems. Oh, God. my mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that, 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 um, that's... that's uh, you didn't even get hit. Yeah, it didn't damage you. It's because I was still moving. And I... now it's so, it's so shocked that it missed. <laughs> it is oh, stuck God. like that for the rest of eternity. And yeah, you can I kill it, apparently. It <laughs> I don't know, Brian, I just don't think you were trying very hard. <laughs> yeah, try harder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so... Now you're gonna fight well, a this looks like a right? boss room. What? Is no, it no, gonna no, be no, like this... a snake? You don't fight a giant crocodile. Actually, I'm not sure what the fuck it is. It's like a... a crap thing? Like... I don't know what that... How would you describe that to your it's therapist? It's one of those beetles. <laughs> it's an ant lion. Uh... It's a trap inch. Oh, I hate ant lions. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna train up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a flag on, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna win all the battles. <laughs> I fucking love flag on, fuck you. No, I love flag on too, what are you talking about? I it's got fucking fun. goggles, flag it's flag amazing. <laughs> Ground and dragon, shoot. I'm sorry, you said goggles, but now all I can think Brian, of is why did you beat Omega? His eyes off. Brian, why'd you beat Omega? He's literally the best part about, oh, like, what? The oh, re most over. recent Archie comics. It's, it's over. It's over. <laughs> all right, See, well, that you was said goggles, and now, <laughs> now all I can think of is Sonic without his eyes. Oh um, God! Why would you have to say that out loud? <laughs> Brian probably has. Have eyes. fun with that imagery, kids. Now Good all night. I can now all I can think of is Gumball Eyes Sonic. Oh God! All right, all right. Edit just, that in, just please. Bye. Just bye. <laughs> please, please edit that in.